Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to do another unboxing. We've actually already unboxed these shoes, but just as kind of a shout out to some of you guys for sending your shoes in to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, and we just thought we would do something fun and kind of highlight your shoes on the channel. So we're gonna go through some shoes that you guys have sent in to us, where you're from, and uh, we'll move on the next. So let's get to it. All right, the first pair of shoes that we have are some Crockett and Joan boots. And these are actually coming from uh, Switzerland. And these are sent in by George, thank you very much. These have day nights on them right now, and he's wanting to go back to leather with a double stack oak leather and just some rubber heel lifts. A uh, second pair of shoes that we have is a pair of Gucci loafers uh, by Akash Patel um, from Illinois. So he wants us to do Triumph toe taps on these and uh, we'll take care of them. All right, the next pair up are some Oxford, some TLB Majorca. Um, these actually are their, uh, what they call the, not the custom, these but the are the uh, artisan yeah, line. The artist line. And we actually have uh, TLB Majorca sending Heath and I a couple of pair. Uh, that we are going to do a review on. So uh, keep an eye out for that video because it'll be coming soon. And we will be putting some Triumph toe taps on those. All right, next pair. And this one was uh, this one was good. This one had some creativity to it, so we appreciate it. This is a pair of Paul Evans. And as you guys can see, uh, this gentleman apparently had a broken glass bottle that, that cracked and fell on these shoes and it had some cuts all in the leather. And you can see he put some little, little eyeballs and a nose and the eyeballs are looking up at each of the cut marks. So we, we, uh, we, we got a good yeah, laugh. Yeah, we got a good laugh out of that when it came. So he wants us to just do a JR resole on these and possibly see what we can do about the cut marks. Um, you know, That's we'll not see. really, you it, know, our bag yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be tough um, you know those fine little slip marks but we'll see what we can do but uh, we just thought that was worth sharing because that was pretty funny good job all right uh, this next pair is actually two pair from one guy and they are some Drake chuck -a boots suede chuck -a boots and as you see they've got um, some plantation crepe soles on there which is not the easiest thing to resole that's kind of a lot of times it's, it's a one-time thing uh, but we're going to take these off and go over to some day nights. And so the way that these are constructed, we'll have to get pretty creative when we're going to three layers like that. So, yeah. And I've briefly heard of the name Drake's for a shoe brand. I, I don't know if we've ever had any in here. Um, but, you know, if you guys have any feedback on Drake's, you know, definitely leave it down below. Um, like I said, that's, I think I've heard of it, but uh, definitely looking forward to looking into those more. All right. The next ones, these shoes have actually already been done uh, by Heath and I. Uh, we're in the process of finishing these up. Uh, this is a pair of Edward Green Chuckas, and then I also have a pair of Alden Suede Chuckas. Um, this gentleman put day nights on these with red stitching around it, and then on the Edward Greens, he went with the Baker sole leather and uh, the Combo Hill uh, combo hills on the bottom. We put some decorative tacks on it. Like I said, we're still working on these and wrapping these up. But this gentleman is a, uh, a big fan of ours or our, our channel, should I say. And he's become, uh, you know, we've had the opportunity to speak with him a lot. He's actually a film producer out in uh, Hollywood in Los Angeles. And uh, it's really been cool getting to talk to him and uh, just hear stories and what he thinks of the music, uh, the film industry out there. Um, so we really appreciate him sending these in to us and just giving us the opportunity to get to know him better. Um, so uh, just felt like we, you know, want to give a quick little shout out to him, even though we've already worked on these shoes and just kind of show his uh, shoes on this channel as well. So this last pair is pretty interesting. The, the gentleman emailed us or spoke to us, can't remember which one and said that he had a pair of um, vintage uh, Johnson & Murphy aristocrats that were belonged to his grandfather. His dad or his grandfather? I can't One of the two. It was back in the 50s. So yeah. uh, I can't remember how old the gentleman is that called. But um, it's pretty cool to, to see 
how these and these look like they've been resold over the years um, but we're gonna get to see what a vintage pair yeah. of Johnson Murphys looks like my guess is it's gonna be night and day compared to what modern day Johnson Murphys are yeah, so, it, it was, yeah. yeah it was pretty neat when he emailed us and asked if we would be able to refurbish them for him he actually sent some pictures um, again of either his dad or his grandfather I can't remember but they were older pictures from the 1950s uh, showing uh, the gentleman actually wearing these shoes and that that made it you know all the more special and like I said you know when we got these in and just saw you know it's Johnston Murphy aristocrat written in the shoe in the in the liner there it's really neat so we're definitely looking forward to refurbishing those for him and then getting those back to him anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that again it's just our way of giving a little bit of a shout out to each of you for you know being kind enough to send your shoes in to us and um, you know we'll continue to do these every now and then and try to you know pull some shoes that catch our eye and and maybe feature those on the channel uh, again if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section below and again guys if you ever want to send your shoes into us for refurbishment or toe taps or whatever or if you're looking for shoe care products definitely check out our website link below potterandsons.com where you can find all of that information so until next time have a great day